Wellington Barracks on a Royal Salute Day is a pretty busy place. These soldiers must prepare 71 horses, each looking their absolute best, thanks to a morning brush, wash and shave. You have to do the, the eyes around there and around the muzzle. It looks like they don't enjoy it, but they're used to it. It doesn't hurt them. And how often would you would you just do this for ceremonial occasions? Yeah, or? we don't do it um, as often when we when we're back at Woolwich. But for every salute, definitely we do it to make them look all tidy, ready for TV. Good girl. King's Troop are the ceremonial saluting battery of Her Majesty's Household Division and fire royal salutes around the capital for grand occasions of state, like royal weddings or the birthday of a future king, dressed in a uniform with more than 70 years of history. The jackets, um, braiding used to be made of metal content and it used to have an uh, officer's jacket that's gold. It used to actually have uh, gold lacing through and it was used um, for swords and um, sabre attacks, so it was used as a body armour. Same as the high collar, it was to protect the neck. Um, the lines that you can see here that's attached to the busby, it was also used as reins for the horses. The busby, this used to be the um, used for shaving, a um, shaving brush. This used to be their wedding ring and this, the red bag, used to be able to put letters and photos of loved ones in. Um, and also the busby, turned upside down, it was used as a, a feed bowl for the horses. So it all had its purpose in the time. The horses are here to carry troops and pull six 13-pounder field guns. They saw active service during the First World War, including at the Battle of the Somme. Our biggest issue, uh, unlike modern uh, weapons, is, is more traditional black powder, so it's very dirty, very filthy, so as they fire they get more plugged up and you can get feed and stoppage issues. So it's important that we maintain a high level of cleanliness, so they would have been working behind the scenes, pulling through the guns, stripping the uh, mechanisms, ensuring they were nicely, lightly oiled and clean, so we have no issues with firing. A bugler keeps the troops to time and urges them onto the parade square. Hours upon hours of preparations are now complete. As you can see, the final inspections of these horses and troops are now happening. As with every other gun salute, attention to detail is what it's all about. So every buckle, every piece of uniform, every horse has to be thoroughly inspected before they head out the gates. Pulling sort of over a tonne worth of gun with six horses. So every time, every single bit of kit is checked thoroughly by a trained saddler to make sure that nothing is broken or deficient. The same thing happens again on the horses for the kit. And the guns are checked by both the Remy Armourer and again by a section commander to ensure both a turnout and safety. How many hours would you say go into a typical gun salute? Over 100 per subsection. So you're looking at over 600 hours worth of work. And that's sort of at every level. So building up the shine from the, um, from the very lowest level up again. It's also turning the kit around. So two of these guns were on parade on Sunday for minute guns. And so the whole troop mucked in for that to get it ready again for today. In Green Park, the guns are fired 41 times. 21 as part of your traditional royal salute. An extra 20 added because this is a royal park. This mirrors other gun salutes held at the Tower of London and across the UK. A very happy birthday to the Prince of Wales from the armed forces.